Welcome Larry Frazier from Trek in Medina, New York to a short video presentation of the Fancourt router benchtop robot. Larry, uh, we're going to uh, give you a quick overview of the setup on the benchtop router along with a little uh, video simulating the panel that you had sent us for simulation. The uh, router robot consists of several components. The first and main one being the robot itself and robot platform. What you're looking at here is uh, the robot 2400 size, which basically just tells you that it's a, about a 15 inch by 15 inch range of motion that the spindle can move over during uh, uh, routing or during singulation. Uh, the robot uh, uh, consists of uh, the uh, spindle motor, which we uh, integrate on. The spindle motor will control the uh, RPMs of the router bit, which I'm pointing at right here. The router bit is the uh, part that actually will take out the tabs. And also we have hooked up next to this is an ionizer uh, tube. What that does is blow ionized air onto the router bit and the printed circuit board surface during processing. What that will do is help with ESD issues and also keep the dust going down into the vacuum box where it belongs. Moving on to the platform of the actual robot, what we've got mounted here is the vacuum box. What the vacuum box is, is a place where the fixture for the panel is uh, mounted, but also what it does is it takes the, the dust that's created by the actual simulation, moves it through this tube. Once that's done, it's collected by the uh, a vacuum canister that usually sits behind or below uh, the benchtop robot during operation. Going back to our vacuum box, the way this uh, down rat back uh, router works is the box has a plate on top of it. The plate is the fixture uh, for the particular panel that you're processing. With this uh, uh, crude demo, uh, what we've done is basically set up a temporary fixture to hold the, uh, the panel during routing. As you can see, we've employed some high-tech uh, printed circuit board material and tape here in order to do that. But with a real fixture, we would use uh, retaining pins, we would hog out material for retention, uh, whatever we need to do to hold the panel in place during the entire simulation process. There are holes in this plate here that are underneath where the suction from the vacuum will take the dust that's being pushed down into the vacuum box out just to give you an idea what's going on there. Over here uh, we have what I would call some of our facilities or some of our uh, 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 pieces of the equipment that actually make everything work. What you're looking at back here, this blue uh, box, that is the ionizer controller. What that does is uh, change the air intake so that when uh, it goes through this box and then back through the tube for the ionizer, it's blowing out that ionized air. Next to that is the uh, spindle controller. Basically what this does is just the uh, control box that will control the uh, spindle rotation. Uh, normally set at about 30 RPM to 35 RPM. So there's adjustment on there uh, for that should you need to change your RPM for an application down the road. This big box here, and we'll try to get a look inside. What we've got in here is basically all our pneumatics and our electronics, uh, consisting of regulators, solenoids, uh, wiring, control board. All the electronics is in pneumatics are organized nice and neatly in here. Should there ever be any troubleshooting needed or uh, some kind of issue is happening, uh, easily uh, accessible and easily uh, uh, troubleshot by um, uh, reading the diagram we provide where everything is. That can, uh, basically is all our components of the system. What you got here is the actual handheld pendant. The handheld pendant is used to actually program your, uh, uh, your board. 
which we've done for your for your uh, demo board here. You can control uh, all kinds of parameters as far as speed. Uh, there's uh, offset uh, uh, software in here so that you can offset some uh, router points depending on tolerances on boards. Um, this basically is your control when you're programming and setting up your uh, your program. One other thing I do want to mention, I mentioned the three issues of the um, ionized air, the routing bit, and the vacuum and vacuum box. All three of those uh, components work together to get the dust away from the board and out after uh, the tab has been singulated. The ionizer, as I explained, blowing the ionized air so no dust sticks to it. The vacuum box by collecting the dust underneath the board during simulation. And the router bit, the feature of the router bit that's key is that the router bit is designed so that it pushes the dust down into the vacuum box to allow it to take the dust out uh, efficiently. So all three of those work to really create a clean uh, environment and process during routing. So we'll take a brief moment here and then I'll, we'll come back and we'll actually run this board so you can see it being processed. Uh, Larry, we're ready to uh, film the, the panel. Uh, basically, we've got a, a diameter bit in here of about 40 thousandths which fit in the slot of your panel. Uh, we've pretty much optimized the program speed as far as cutting through the, the um, tabs and also movement around. Uh, the Z-height escape, maybe we can cut that down a little bit in a, in a production program. So it should take about a minute or so to uh, simulate both these uh, uh, panels. Uh, our camera operator will, once we get it going here, we'll try to uh, uh, hone in on the bit working. Okay, here we go. Okay, Larry, uh, as you can see, we cut through uh, pretty well uh, with uh, no dust uh, on the board surface here at all. Uh, as you can see, the Z height, we may be able to lower that a little bit. The total cycle time was about 52 seconds, so if we work on the Z height a little bit, you might get it down to 48 seconds or so, not much more than that. But what we'll do is we'll um, uh, take these out and send them back to you for uh, samples and go from there. And our op camera operator is just taking it off so you can see the see the, the simulation. Off the board. Thank you very much, Larry. Excellent.